If you're a serious Catholic who is concerned about the state of affairs in the church and you have a knack for the great outdoors, then please consider spending a fall vacation with churchmilitant.tv at the Flying Bee Ranch. The Flying Bee Ranch offers some of the most beautiful scenery west of the Mississippi. While being strengthened in the faith through a series of conferences from Michael Voris, you'll also have plenty of time to breathe that mountain air while horseback riding, fishing, or bird hunting. So please, click the link to register today, and we'll see you out there at the Flying Bee Ranch. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. It's being reported more Protestants are developing an interest in the Catholic tradition of Lent, this according to an associate professor at the Catholic University of America who specializes in ecumenism and ecclesiology. It's been said that many Protestants have tended to see ritual as routine and lacking life, but the pref professor stated that in these churches, quote, there's certainly a sense of a spiritual desire to prepare for Lent, the desire for conversion, end quote. One Protestant church adopting the practice is Washington, D.C.'s National Community Church. The pastor has accurately pointed out that Lent is about repentance and confession, end quote, about pruning and cutting things back so you can grow closer to Christ, end quote. The 2014 Templeton Prize recipient went to Monsignor Thomas Halleck, a Czech priest and professor of sociology of religion at Charles University in Prague. The Templeton Prize is an award given to a, quote, living person who has made an exceptional contribution to affirming life's spiritual dimensions. Vatican Radio says Monsignor spent almost 20 years under communism, organizing a secret network of academics, theologians, and students aimed at preparing the intellectual and spiritual basis for a future demo democratic society. Monsignor Halleck said he's very happy that the nomination coincides with the first anniversary of the pontificate of Pope Francis, hailing him for introducing a culture of closeness to the people. The publisher of Pope Francis's first apostolic exhortation, Evangelii Gaudium is reporting that it is the best-selling text since the documents of Vatican II. The Catholic Truth Society, the publishing company that released the work, has sold over 25,000 copies of Our Holy Father's first writing and just printed its fifth edition. The document has already sold double the amount of previous papal documents, even though it was only published in December of 2013. House Speaker John Boehner has invited Pope Francis to address a joint session of Congress next year during the Holy Father's trip to the U.S. Boehner said in a statement, quote, It is with reverence and admiration that I have invited Pope Francis as head of state of the Holy See and the first pope to hail from the Americas to address a joint meeting of the United States Congress. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex where Michael talks about how the faith is being derailed. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. Have a great weekend, and may God bless you. Hi there, Church Milton TV supporters. I'm Michael Voris. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. If you or someone you know is looking to sell or buy a home or a commercial property anywhere in the world, there's an amazing organization called Real Estate for Life that you should definitely check out. Real Estate for Life generously donates an average of $1,000 to churchmilitant.tv every time a home sale closes. It's a great way to support us here at CMTV. And don't forget, this comes at absolutely no cost to you. So please call or email Real Estate for Life today. All the information you need is in the description box. Michael Voris along with Rebecca Hasenauer for churchmilitant.tv. God love you.